What's up? This is your boy Soup when I'm playing Mortal Shell. Doing a little exploration through the graveyard. This was the last place we explored. The last temple we found here was the crypt. <clears throat> this is all a new area. I just got to and been exploring. It's got about 5,000 tar. I was going to buy the Balusazuka, but that's going to take too long. So I decided to just explore and whatever happens, happens. Shiny over there. I've been picking up a few shinies, nothing interesting. I fell off the cliff. I got, well, I got stuck and the archer was shooting at me. The only way I could free myself was to fall in. I just came and got my root, my tar back. Not a lot to do around here. It's treacherous to traverse too. This is the entrance camp. I sprinted by them because I was in a hurry to get my tar. I was also trying to collect some mushrooms. I did a decent job of that. Got 16 and a full health meter. It's another camp. Lots of unexplored areas around here. I think I should get this first camp. At least this fruit here. I think the Suzuki cost 8,000. I don't think the consumable tars I have will give us that that much. Picked up a couple of the roasted rats. Got, got the poison set up for the next temple. I, just, I was going to do it, but I didn't want to lose all these rooms. Oh. I thought there would be a brood over here. A lot of the mistakes in games, especially these Dark Souls style games, it's you swing and then you realize he's going to swing and you're going to lose the timing and you can't cancel it, but this you can by hardening. It's awesome. It gives you an extra layer of awareness or skill, I guess, you know. <clears throat> you got to love that the... The death animations or the ragdoll effects are very nice in this game. Happy medium. This so looks like a path. It's probably their path. But I'm not there for it. And I'm not wearing sneakers or, or hiking boots, that's for sure. I think they're all there for being monsters. I found a, a shiny behind some branches. It was a rat or something. A lot less valuable than a glimpse. How we distracted him. Might as well fight him. Get this whole graveyard clear. I didn't kill anybody on the way here, so it'll be hell trying to leave. Frog, can't fuck with the frog. Here's the entrance. Yeah, we 
barely gotten a thousand guitar clear in this whole area. When the, the landscape is designed, you know, for stealth because you got loops that go right behind enemies and things that hide in cubby holes. But there's no, there's no, no mechanic of stealth in it. Not even a crouch. Follow the music, right? We could use up these glimpses and upgrade our shell in the entrance to the temple. Yeah, and we got a bird. This is the entrance. Should be another one. The guy that was playing the instrument, right? There he is. <clears throat> Ready, big boy. Good boy, man. Sixteen mushrooms, fifty-two hundred tire. Yeah, we could probably get up to six thousand. That's pretty close. This, this is where we found the poison resistant shell. I believe. I should know I was just in here. It seems like it seems like it's poison resist, but I think that's just because of its abilities are related to poison and poison bonuses. And it's sitting right there in the light. The beautiful light. And this is the dungeon where all the enemies are poisonous. Or they look, they look poisonous. And they do biting, jumping, biting attacks. You know, they're creatures of the swamp as opposed to people. Creatures. Seemed a lot bigger when it was full of enemies. I hear it's we're opening up over here. The one Tuesday. Steps to nowhere, huh? See, so we couldn't get up to this, but we can get it down there. That is me, bro. And we got enough stamina to kick his ass. Mushrooms. Nice, got 18. This might be the most I've ever had. And I still have full health. Logs usually hide things. There was like three three mushroom places just in this area in the graveyard. If we could memorize every area, I bet you you could start at one area, and by the time you make it back to that area, they would respawn because there's so many mushrooms. That would be nice. Talk about efficient.
you just ran around the place. You don't even have to memorize them. As long as there's no enemies, clear the whole board. Go from mushroom spot to mushroom spot. Is this Risha's chamber? <clears throat> I know this is the, the in-between chamber that had the night crawlers in it. No need to be here. So I saw something weird there. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so why did you attack me? Ruining my full health? Yeah. So I guess we're going to use all our cars. 100, 200, 400 together. Well, this should give us a lot. We this was old from the boss. Use semi-liquid and greasy runoff of nectar, unjuent, unjuent tar. That didn't tell us anything, but we could, I didn't even pay attention. That gave us like a bunch. That gave us like a thousand. Let me look at that again. It gave us 750. 750. Wow, that'll do it. We're at 72, 84. And, but then we still have this extracted tar. That gave us 1300. Wow. Tar extracted with some skill from old nectar. Even decaying tar can still hold a fraction of the revered's blessings. I always saw it. Such tar remains useful, though it tends to react dangerously. Doesn't tell you the amount. Grants a bontinous tar. Bontius tar. Bounteous. Right? B O U N T, like it's a bounty. Use this nascent tar. We don't need the nascent tar. We're good right now. Tainted nectar. I don't know what that is. We still got to use that. We also have, we got a bunch of glimpses. We also got that. But there was something else. Maybe I used it. What was this silver piece of scripture I used? Sorry. But the, the uncarved mask. We got that. And find I think we've come full circle with this place. Nothing left for us here. Oh fuck. Damn it. We were up to nineteen. Uh, well now we're full at eighteen. That's our record. And it's the red ones too, nice. See, he's best at stamina. And, he's, and he can teleport when, with his evade, you know, like a shadow rogue. You look at his abilities. Sprinting doesn't consume stamina. Killing an enemy, you get a buff which poisons enemies when you hit him. Lose the buff when you are hit. That one sounds awesome. I can't believe we don't have that one yet. See, all most of them are related to poison. I think his sounded like the best, too. The most beneficial for the materials. A lot of the other ones just seem so... <clears throat> such a low chance of actually ever being useful. Because they happen a certain chance. You know, like one out of four hits, they happen. But the situation where it can happen is all like a one out of four situation. So your odds are really one out of eight, but you're paying extra for the one out of four chance. Not, not my type of upgrade, I must say.
but his I hit an enemy constantly for a chance to poison on hit. It's not even a chance. It guarantees poison on a hit. That's like the best thing in the game right there. Guess it'll satisfy your intellectual desires to be stimulated. Got like some type of management games like Tropico. That's just one I like. It's too hard for me though, but it's I used to like it. Some other, I like Tractorio. Stimulate me intellectually. Mind, I used to like Minesweeper. Dr. Mario instead of Tetris. I'm so lost. This, I think for this weapon we don't have any upgrades. This gotta be it right here. Indeed. We can take a look. That's what I wanted to look at. Alright, first time I put this menu down. Oh, we can't look at that here. We skipped ahead. We got the opening, the green areas inscriptions, and then the final temples and inscriptions. If, if this order is correct, then that last temple, the fire temple, was the, la the last temple. And we did it in the wrong order. One etching, wow. God knows what a virtuous cycle is. So you gotta replay it with modifiers or challenges or something? Yeah, I definitely don't feel any doubt about upgrading this character. I think this, this is probably the So we need eight for that ability. We might as well start with the big ones. Disciples Rag, that brings us back. I think that it's to summon another weapon. That's we never use that. It's got unlimited use, but usually they give you a clue. Obtain stains cover odious stains cover this fray flag. We don't have an odious weapon. But the tattered vestment, you know, tattered, that's that's another clue. We've got a tattered vestment which transports our sword to us. And it gives a clue about it. And then the disciples rag. I don't know. I, I thought I said tattered rag and a tattered vestment. But it's not it's not for the weapon we have, or else it'd be disabled. That's a good way to find out. Switch the cycle through the weapons and if it disables, that's what it does. The scent tar, that's a whole bunch of tar. Untarnished mask. The tarnished mask summons us back to Sester J Jessia, but we lose all our glimpses. We or we lose all our tar. We lose a lot of something. But this one's untarnished, so maybe we don't lose anything. But I still have hesitated because it seems risky. A, a glimpse of annihilation. That's the boss glimpse. Like, maybe we shouldn't start with that one because you know, Demon Souls, Dark Souls have the boss weapons. Or the they're, they're multi-purpose and they're better than everything else. So I guess we'll start with the small ones. We got one glimpse. These blue ones, glimpse of wisdom. Use five more times to reveal re reveal further details. Glimpse of wisdom curiously curls inward. And that gives us two glimpses. We need eight. Now we're up to six. Nothing new, no new information from it. And then it's just the big boys down here. I think this gives you six. Glimpse of affection, glimpse into your shell, when consumed. 
It pulses with desire. Gives four. So we got two extra. That sucks. I should have. Wish I knew more about it so I could plot it carefully. Sip this. Plot it carefully so we can get three things. One's the kick. One's the one I we just read. When you kill somebody, you get a, you get to inflict poison on all of the enemies you hit loses when you're hit. That's an awesome thing. You gain a 20% chance to lose stamina instead of health on taking damage. And since our stamina meter is so big, that's another awesome thing. We're gonna do this one now. We're probably we're gonna do them both. We got. An, we stole from those thieves. There was never enough tar to go around. It was wasted on them anyways. We knew what it was. It's full potential. Why dilute it? But we were punished all the same. In time, my ruined face peeled away. Her form faded into something like fog. Something trapped between realms. Cretion and dominance, so we need six more. This one requires 20. Sprinting doesn't consume TL, so that's okay. I used to, things like that used to be more important <clears throat> in like great games from a long time ago that didn't look as good and weren't fun to, as fun to explore. Now I, I can run through this world looking at things. We got the four banger here. We're gonna have to use the big boss, so I think we would have had some clue. It'll be all right. 15. Ooh, buddy. Looks like there's four bosses, right? But one dungeon, you can get all the glimpse and the boss's glimpse, and you should have enough to upgrade that shell pretty good, I think. I think there's enough to almost max out every shell, that's what I'm guessing. Come on, say, say something. Yes. Striking a poison enemy increases chances. That, I went, that one's terrible. Lose stamina instead of health. Okay. That sucks. We can't trade them back to a different character, though. 20% there. A smoke choked my vision. And tears welled in my eyes. The world itself burned white hot. But beneath it all, there was nothing. No monsters. No gods. Only oblivion. The consecrated fires revealed cinders and shadows, yet I strained to see more. Surely these sages offered more than the assurances of annihilation. Nine left. I don't really care about that one. That one requires 15. Sprinting doesn't consume stamina, requires 20. And these are the same for every character. Like, they're not bad, but they're not never gonna be a first choice. I'm stuck with nine glimpses. At least you don't lose them on death. And we've got the hollow sword. Now we need to use the sword for this place. We still have 6,000 color. I think how many glimpses do we have in the other shells? Now we gotta head all the way back to fuck around. We just need to consume it all right now. We only got one glimpse. Thirteen. Two more. We might get some because this is like a, a hard level dungeon we're not entirely familiar with. This is called the Ethereal Diapas Diapason. 
Use it two more times for details. A swelling harmony bursts forth when the object is struck. I think it's similar to the bell where we get more tar. But I guess we'll do that now. Let's see. Restores your ability to reclaim your shell upon death. That was a dumb time to use it. You usually only get to reclaim your body once. And if you use that, you'll get another shot. We have, There's an ability where we can get a chance. If we kill enough enemies, we can get another shot though. Disciples Ray. Summons the smoldering mace. Ah, I figure. Can I switch back to your long sword? Right here. No, and this whole dumb mace. Well, we gotta have that other sword here. It's harder if you don't. About the untarnished mask. You only use it once. Recalls you back to Sister Janessa. Which which one though? This one? Yeah, that fucking figures. That really blows. Let's see if yes. we can get any more upgrades. It's like we're getting a kick. That is all the physician promised was left for me. The malady gnaws at the corners of my eyes. Prize the flesh from fingers and toes. It burrows deeper. Um, the mace seems like it should have a nice long reach. We should try that. That's the she reach. Oh, two for one Tuesday, Christ. Second two ways there. There's a oh crap. Do it, man. Wrong button, damn it. Now we're in the wrong freaking shell. Cause that did some damage on him. That sucks. What a bad luck, what bad luck we had now. See, when you switch shells, you got terrible health. Maybe we need to move that dumbass shit from the quick bar slot. We need to use the one that summons TL, the, yeah. Perfect. Now we need the Martyr Blade. I don't think we have a summons for that. <laughs> summon Harrows, summon Eardrum. Brought food, boost consumables, summon TL, summon Solomon. Tainted nectar. Let's use that. This foul slurry will rend you from your shell. Oh, what? Damn, now we just lost the life. What the fuck would you want that for? The centaur glimpses. We got loot, tattered vestment to summon our sword. Tainted mask, impure pervious loot, disciples ray. What is going on in this method here? Might as well respawn them because we're down the light. Don't overindulge. boss the boss glimpses might be at a turning point forcing you to choose one shell to take into the finale Just 
try that again. One more. It's one though. Oh, no. Good show, man. Good show. We got so many mushrooms. Twenty-two. Two more bullets. Let's go with the mortal token. Damage taken while hiding is converted to health. The next hit. Go with. Oil frog. Now let's go with moonshine. Smaller amount of resolve at the cost of health. Well, that was stupid. This is not the right shell to be using that. Alright, this is why I don't like consumables. I like your basic health, that's it. Or, you know, like pay to win mechanics, like a three day XP boost. Not one for the minutia. Oh, we can't just easily put back that too. Put your head back. Don't lose your head, mate. Don't lose your head. Right, I'll give it a go, eh? Woogie woogie woo. Meta game. And he dropped poison, that's when he dropped. Spectral token, getting struck while hardened will boost the damage of your next attack. You got these buggers, I cannot see the sun just came out. I know this guy hiding behind the wall though, right in my eye. Oh, are we poisoned to death? What is going on? Oh, that was probably our thing poisoning the enemy. And I just wasted it. Oh, I see him now. He did two heavy attacks while he was conjuring his poison. Yeah, I see him. I see you. I see you. Very good, not, not nearly as difficult as it was the first time. This also does a lot more damage than the heavy sword. It's got both the gems, it's got quenching acid. The other sword that was made for this area is just one long blade and it has no upgrade. Both of these paths are not easy, not the easy way. Two side paths and the real path in the center. Oh, we got him, he didn't even see me. Nice. Now there's uh, another big guy. He's back to and turn to us, and we can't still kill him. Right here. 
how do you use the kick? They didn't give us a tutorial because I've unlocked it for another character. What is that noise behind us, man? Damn it. I can't see with shit. cutie. Can I keep it? You can keep it. this I know how to buzz right oh it's still a little hard to see but it's not I don't have to close my eyes and squint now I got a big fellow over here is that is that two big fellas Uh-oh, you're not going to attack? Nice. Probably oh, throwing his head anyway. No. I don't remember if that was an enemy or what that was. I know other enemies have got to us. <clears throat> and that's dead, fella. That's why you need the blue bazooka. Oh, that's what we could do with the runes. I forgot. That's what I was supposed to do. Damn, I can't believe I wasted all the runes. That's my what I intended to do was go unlock the blue bazooka. But we're not at the right place to do that. There's no workbench here. First martyr gave neither blood nor body, nor he gave up so much more to preserve our faith. No, he gave up so much. He gave his living memory all that he knew, all that he glimpsed, sealed with an ice. As it thaws, open your mouth, harden your heart, receive his gift. Remember what came before. <coughs> this one even touched the shiny. We can escape without fighting anybody, huh? Petrified winter glass. I think that's an upgrade for one of our weapons. Martyr's blade. I wish we had the martyr's blade. We'd go put that back in the martyr's blade and continue on. But there's no way for us to get it here. Unless that summons us. But I think it's an upgrade for it. Winter glass. Wrong tab. I 
There it is. Petrified winter glass. This shard of winter glass fits inside of the martyr's blade. Though long petrified, this winter glass twinkles with a faint resonance. These gems are prized by the martyrs for preserving the dead and the dying. Their frozen bodies will become relics, broken apart and shared with the most pious of their order. Pious. Yes, we could head back to the beginning, pop us in the martyr's blade, and I don't even think they'd respawn. But we fucked up and accidentally used the summon. Man, that pisses me off. You know, if, if you're finding shit like in that in this temple, it's obvious. And we got the martyr's blade from this book and this person. Oh well. Yeah, that, that doesn't even respawn enemies either. Like, even if we die, we're gonna be respawning at this temple, and it's gonna be such a long journey full of bodies and killing people to go back and to get the martyr's blade it pisses me off it's like there's no way we can we're going through all that to go get the martyr's blade like that might have been might have just been better to have an inventory that you carry around with you or something like that I go that way. Still like the game though. Come on, love. There's two of them down there. Not that it might be a problem. That's no, alright. Alright, oh. I'm good as gold. Don't fucking fall off, you idiot. God. Don't do that to me. Hopefully that's the only one in this area. Alright, huh? that occurred from earlier I think it is and there's that chest and the weird looking thing over there and this is the path yeah that's it that's it you got the chest I don't see a need to awaken the demon there if it was a boss the sister Jacia would be by sister Jacia Another one now. Oh yeah, we died so bad when we tried to fight this guy last time. We died terribly. Is that the other one? Last time we lured him all the way to the entrance. And he just destroyed us. This is the best weapon we have though right now. Go do it. Nice, didn't even take any damage. There's more. 
Oh, that's got to be a boss. That is a boss. I don't know if I'm right there ready for that yet, so. Yeah, it's short work of this dungeon so far. I don't think we took damage to the whole thing. Or else I used the Marty Blade. Marty Blade, though. So. I, we're getting them kill them with one hit, hit faster with this. We're over out of time. We're going to have to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.